must suffer a thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son! You speak nonsense, Basim. Forgiveness is impossible. We shared so much in England. Fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor. Into the wellspring of your memory. and shattered bones, and my conscience will be clear. This more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Take 
Sigurd! Be careful! He's coming for you! Oathbreaker! You die here! This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. Will you not die? Not here. Not by your hand. I will leave you here to die like a rotting fruit on a dying tree. You died once, you will again!
curse. Put in darkness. Good. Bastard. For how long had Bassin been planning this treachery? I dare not guess. Gods! Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... I need some time to breathe. Let me sit a moment. That man's anger... His rage... It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey, and I am... not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Sacker Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. Tale for the ages. I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him?
He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done. Everything I've learned. It led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right. Of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone. That's not true, is it? Well, near. Be careful out there. Thanks, Bex. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, the radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawahoe Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solas Fras Hunakudi De, Unzum Huraz, Des Dere has, Zohumsi. I'm in. I hear you. 
The elevator still works. Ah, 75,000 years. What's another millennium or two? It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. Well, when all this is over, we can get a startup going, you know? Get a little work by a man, just the three of us. Shit, you're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What, what are you by calling us when you're topside? Something like that. Here we go. and the ice melted. Whoa, whoa! Steady. Pool of water from all that melted ice. anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning it's just like the endless it's just like the endless Valhalla, or, or a similar. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? We will never end. So here we went, in fealty to our master. <laughs> Who 
Who's your master? Is he here? <laughs> they flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Bassam, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. God damn it. Silence, Udur. Verdandi. Skald. Be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. At last. We rest. Is that it? Is it done? Basim! Where are you? What is that? again. Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node... This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further? 2012, when Desmond saved the world. Desmond? 
What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck. All right. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave, so be it. I owe this to the people I... I hurt. And the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. Sean, Bex, I... I had a choice. And I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that. But I'm not afraid. And I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. But we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. 
a manner of speaking. Jesus, we have to find her. You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. This... this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use, to find my children, and bring my family back together. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. Bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in, a few days at most. So here we go.
Steady, Eivor. Welcome home. Missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Um... returned inside of the hearth come your secret is no longer safe Eivor Ranvi what is this is everything all right our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future will you speak to your people Love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steep my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. Fight for we who fall. <sighs> 
Sigurd, Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. Then I'm glad for you both. And for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. You look well. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire. The last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uber have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather in the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. I should go. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and wail. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones, I have stared the offal of beasts, and in the rising steam I saw the end of it all! Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master, your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka, but the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies. And I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return.
I must be careful now. Hey, wait! to Alfred's heartland. I hope Guthrum has a sound plan. Strange to see. <laughs> Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Guthrum does not negotiate with Oathbreakers, men whose words are only shadows of their thoughts. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to, a Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. 
Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Upper dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Saxon Pyre! Leave nothing standing! You old freakers! We had a truce! And now it is ended! And you will feel my act! Let's strip the dog off! And now it is ended! And you will feel my axe in your gut, piglet! Their prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. Now you pay! Let's Shut believe up. you! Christ is surely with us! Firm all! Do not lose your nerve! This place is routed, Soma. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men! Move!
Dog. We have this. We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Hmm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uber lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them? We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you are as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There's much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Oh, bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge birds within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, I I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It's hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands.
Best not to draw attention here. Thank you. Thank you, friend. You can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards, but I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. Are you Guthrum's men? I had to hand them over. Alfred demanded it. We will save them, Guthrum. Stay calm. Enough skulking! These do not deserve compassion. I will wash my blade in their blood. There. These are my men. Have my true thanks, friend. Go to the camp near Chippenham. Find your countrymen there. Good. We'll pay back the Saxons for the insults they heaped on us. Guthrum, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's hall tonight, boys.
As long as I can cut some Saxons down, I don't care where we face them. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. Safe here. Let us speak. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery, your leadership, Eivor. You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives, a changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings. Poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. <sighs> and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Attack on sight.
And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this... this one begins... Eivor, did Basim contact you in Norway? He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. I think this will be hard to hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together. I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd, he loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. I have to go. Then go in peace. A place of mystery, wonder, and a temple of hidden God. Hey there! How are you? Good day! Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake